Alright All right, everybody, January 1st, 2013, I'm coming to you from the road. This is the time where a lot of people start an exercise program as their New Year's resolution. Maybe it's tomorrow when people start. Some people are watching football. I myself uh, have been watching the Twilight Zone Marathon. I'm just taking a break now. So I want to mention that this is one of the best resolutions you can make. It's one of the best things for you. So I want to give you some tips for making it work out, getting the benefits, but you only get the benefits if you stick with it, so the best tip for sticking with it is to find something that you enjoy doing. I get out on my bike almost every day just because I'm compelled to do it because it feels that good. Even if it's just five minutes, I just have to get out there or my day doesn't seem complete. But I think a big part of the reason why I like riding so much is because I'm usually listening to music on headphones those two put together is just better than anything else there is. Better than eating for entertainment. It doesn't matter what you do, as long as you're moving, increasing your heart rate, putting pressure on the muscles. You gotta make it fun. A lot of people must be doing something wrong. Because they sign up at the gym in January. And by March, the numbers are back down to where they were before. When I woke up, it was just another day to me. Another day to rock. And then I remembered New Year's, time for the Twilight Zone. So I turned on the TV, started doing some leg lifts, as I always do in the morning. Okay. Another obstacle to exercising regularly is tiredness. That's a complex issue. That is the most common symptom on the planet. And there's many reasons for it. And here's some quick tips. This is how you want your day to look like. You always start your day at the end of the last day. You started by going to bed early. Then you get better sleep. Then you wake up early. Then your battery's charged. First thing you do, start drinking water. Drink a couple glasses. Start exercising. And then when you're hydrated, then you can eat something. You want to start with carbohydrate foods. Low in fat, that's the way I was are. I'll talk about that in other videos. Uh, no mistake. A lot of people start their day with <laughs> almost nothing but fat. If you do the math on these foods, it's a whole bunch of fat. And, and some people will say, uh, fat gives you steady energy. 
along with that protein that's housed there. And those little foods, you know, you know those foods. And with all these foods, they're drinking coffee. And then they get to work and they drink some more coffee. Often people don't have the energy to start exercising. You gotta see this as a barrier, one to break. Exercise gives you energy, therefore you simply have to start. And after a while, you will then have the energy. Best bit of advice is to take it slow. Don't burn yourself out. Increase your fitness slowly. You'll have a steady climb to the top. And I'll see you at the top of the mountain.